a beautiful tree, a beautiful tree among the ruins. There were once happy times here for thousands. It was a water park, a water park where people young and old would come to go on the rides, where many a family would make happy memories. You can almost still hear the laughter and happy screams of the children. But now, now it looks like nuclear holocaust. It happened here just a few years ago. And now, here, here are just some shattered dreams. For this place, this place is where a young boy died, which marked the downfall of this place. Hey gang, this morning early we are at Pleasant Valley Cemetery in Kansas City. We're south of Kansas City, it's a suburb south. And we're here today at daybreak. You can see the sun coming up right here and the church in the distance. Beautiful place here. We're here to see a little boy named Caleb Schwab. And Caleb was had an unfortunate accident on this ride that was here. There was this ride that was over 160 feet high. It was the tallest in the world amusement ride where they it was a water slide and you'd go on a raft. And sadly there was a big mishap and Caleb lost his life. I want to thank Dawn, Dawn from Canada, Wait Until Dawn is her, her name, well not her name, but it's her handle, and this is perfect. <laughs> this is by coincidence, I have to say. But thank you Dawn for recommending the story. I remember hearing about it, and I remember when I would come down, of course our son just graduated from Kansas University in Lawrence. And as we'd come down, we, I remember seeing that slide, if I remember right, it was it was off the interstate, off the highway. You could see it in the distance. Uh, gone now, been torn down. So let's take a walk to his grave and I'll tell you the this, this story. He went with his family to this ride. The, the ride was called Verrucht. Now in German, and I'm German. Verrucht, I remember my mom used to say that, or verrucht. I always thought it was verrucht, but verrucht means crazy or insane in German. And this ride was the pride of this water park called Schlitterbahn. Schlitterbahn, Kansas City Water Park. And like I said, 160, it was 168 feet high. It was the world's largest, tallest water slide when it had opened in July 2014. Now, the ride was designed by, well, several people, but it was led by a man named John Schooley, and it was assisted by the park owner a guy named Jeff Henry. Now, as I said, there was a, a tragedy, and the tragedy took place, it was on August 7, 2016, not that long ago. This 10-year-old Caleb Thomas Schwab was there with his father, I, th I think his mom was there, his brothers, and of course they were heading off to ride and they wanted to do that ride and his dad said hey remember brothers stick together looked up at him and said I know dad I know Caleb was the son of then Kansas State Representative Scott Schwab and that would be the last words that Scott would hear from his son because they went to the ride. Now the ride, if you can imagine, try to imagine, it was, it was 
a slide, like I said, you'd walk up these steps to this massive tower, and then it would go straight down, and then there was a, a couple of humps. And as I recall from the pictures, there was like tubular netting. And to hold the netting up, there were these structural elements. And unfortunately, what happened was, specifically, the, I think it was the second hump, and as it came over, it went airborne into the netting and the structural members. Sitting with, there was two women, one was much heavier than the other, and he was way in front, and there was a, there was a weight and balance issue, and all of that put together, that whole thing flew up, and horrifyingly, he, they had these hook and cable restraints, which were really lame, and he came free, and he went flying up, and he hit that, he hit one of the crossbars. He was killed instantly, and it was a horrific scene. It was a horrific scene. Of course it was horrific, but I say that because imagine, just imagine his brother, they're on the ride and all they saw, I think the testimony was a blood trail down the water slide. And I think he did see his body, so. It was, it was just terrible. Criminal charges came. And it was on March 23rd, 2018, where, of course, everything started to open up. Grand jury issued an indictment against Schlitterbahn and Tyler Austin Miles, who was the former director of operations, and he was charging them with involuntary manslaughter, aggravated battery, and aggravated child endangerment. And interference with law enforcement. It accused the park of negligence, concealing design flaws, and downplaying the severity of previous injuries reported on the ride. Of course, right? We've heard this before. It's always money, making money. It is said that Jeff Henry and John Schooley lack technical expertise to design a properly functioning water slide and did not perform standard engineering procedures or calculations on how the slide should operate any slide. In other words, they didn't know what the heck they were doing. They used crude trial and error methods to test its performance out of haste to launch the ride. Out of haste to launch the ride. Three days later on March 26th, Jeff Henry was arrested in Cameron County, Texas and a day later on the 27th, the Kansas Attorney General's office released a new indictment against Henry Schooley and Henry and Sons Construction Company, which was privately owned by this Schlitterbahn company and charging them with second degree murder, in addition to 17 other felonies. So John Schooley was arrested at Dallas Fort Worth Airport. He was coming back from China, this was on April 2nd, 2018, and these guys were arraigned on the charges. So to kind of make a long story short, after the trial and all the work, we have to give our legal system kudos again, the judges. Listen, we have some great judges and we have some terrible judges. And here we go again. Unless I'm missing something, gang, put it in comments. But from the research I did, you get through the whole trial and they nail these guys to the wall. And on February 22nd, 2019, criminal charges were dismissed 
against Schooley and Miles due to the fact that inadmissible evidence had been presented to the grand jury. Thank you very much. The judge's ruling reprimanded state attorneys for presenting a video called Extreme Water Parks to jurors as a fact instead of as a fictional dramatized version of events created for entertainment purposes. Now I've seen I've seen this video and it's just showing you know it's showing people going on the rides. It's not fictional, it's just it's like documentary almost. So what are you talking about, Judge? That's what you're going to use to let these criminals off the hook? Yeah. And then they were, the judge was complaining about some of the expert witnesses. You know, why did you bring this guy? Why did you bring that guy? You shouldn't have. Anyway. On a, just on technicalities. Our brilliant judges at work again, folks. Our brilliant judges at work. Well, here's the grave right up here. I see there's another little boy here with a mailbox on his grave. We'll take, we'll pay some respects to Drake Terry Renberger. I don't know who he is, of course. Just walking along here, but oh, this is just heartbreaking. Passed in 2018. Nice smile. What a beautiful monument for him, beloved son, brother, grandson, and friend. All oh, little pictures. Look at that. Cub Scout, Boy Scout. Please send me mail. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that, guys. Look at that. Spider Man. This is, it's beautiful, but it chokes me up. It chokes me up. Look at that, guys. KU. Jayhawks. Rock chalk. It's a beautiful stone. It says, can I go play? I'm sure when he was little, he'd look up to his parents and mom. Can I go play? It's a better view for you. I know the sun is coming right at us. Look at that. The morning dew dripping on the monument, this beautiful picture. What a waste. This did not have to happen, guys. All because of greed and money. And inexperience, callousness. Well, let's talk about Caleb here. It is said he was a sensitive boy, one who even at age five comforted his own father when dad lost his job. He had said, well, his oldest son Nathan had questions about how the family would get along after dad lost the job. It was Caleb who later said, dad, I'm just so sorry that happened to you. At the funeral, the church was filled with teammates of Caleb's, some of whom were dressed in their baseball jerseys. And at the end of the service, his father, Scott, called all the boys together in the front of the church, and they did a final huddle in honor of Caleb. His dad, Scott, would later say, what I miss, what I miss the most is my morning hug with my son. So sorry. Rest in peace, Caleb. Rest in peace.